Hi there, welcome to Nighthawk Archery. In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to tear down a uh, Beyond Parallel Limb bow. We're going to do it in two stages, so we're going to press the bow twice. The first time we're going to press it and remove the string and one cable, and then we're going to relax the limbs against uh, the one cable, and then we're going to set up, press it a second time, and then we'll relax the limbs completely. Now, what I did in the beginning is I removed these four spacers from the pressure points. Then I took an Allen wrench and I reduced the draw weight as far as I could. Then I drew a map of my cables and my bow string so that I'd have a reference when I went to put the bow back together. Now with all that said, we have pressed the bow and we're at this point and that pressing, of course, is covered in another video. With that done, we are going to remove the bowstring. Now, want to be careful when you remove the bowstring that you do not add or remove any twists in the string. Because that will offset the timing of your peep sight. Once you have removed the bowstring, set it aside in a place where it will be safe. And then next, we were going to take off one of the cables. We're going to do the same thing. We're, not, we're going to try not to add or remove any twist in the cable. And now we're ready to relax the limbs on the bow. And now the cable is supporting the uh, weight of the limbs. And so what we're going to do is we're going to remove the bow press and set it up to press what, the way we would press a more traditional limb style. Now the limbs no longer are parallel. They're pointing outward like a more traditional limb. And that's the way we're going to press it. So. I just uh, loosen the clamps. We'll do the same with the other end. there. Now we're going to shorten the turnbuckle. And uh, I just put a little moisture on my hand and you can quickly shorten the turnbuckle. Now I'm not going to shorten it completely of course. I'm going to shorten it up to where I've got about an inch and a half or so, like this. About an inch and a half showing on both ends. And now, I'm going to take these clamp bottoms and I'm going to extend the bolts as far as I can, making both bolts even in length. And do 
that on both sides. This is what we did when we pressed, if you watch the video on pressing the more traditional shaped limb, then you'll notice that this is the way we did it. We didn't clamp the frames onto the bow limb. We did that style bow. And we're now ready to press the bow and remove the last cable. And then we'll relax the limbs completely. Now again, laying the, <coughs> the bow on the t a flat surface is a real advantage. And I make sure that the heads of those bolts are in the little pockets. Do the same on the other end. Need to strengthen my strap. Now that's very important that you have those heads of those bolts in those little pockets. And there we are, tighten the strap down. ready to center the frames as we did before. Aha! There we are. I check to make sure both of those little bolts are in their proper place. And we're ready to press the bow a second time. And once we've extended the turnbuckle all the way, I extend it uh, just about all the way because uh, I'm going to have to extend it to reassemble the, the bow anyways. There we go. And it makes it a lot easier if you have no pressure on the limbs. And there we are. Take the uh, bow press off, and now, as you see, we've completely disassembled the bow. Now, to assemble it, I have a couple ideas. One of them is the use of some duct tape. I prefer duct tape for this, and I'm going to tape these limbs in place. And that is going to save me from having to fool around with the uh, limb wobbling or anything else while I reassembling it. So this uh, secures the pretty much secures the limb for me while I'm doing the rest of the assembly. And I prefer duct tape because it doesn't stretch. And it does hold quite well. If you get a electrical tape, it'll stretch. You get it on there and it will stretch enough so that it really won't hold the limb in place. Now the limbs, I got the limbs somewhat in place and now I'm just going to press the bow. I'm going to mount the bow press back on the same way we did before. And I'm going to be very careful not to get the limbs out of the limb pockets. Okay. Do the same on the other. Now one thing I do is, is I position the pressure points where I want them and then I just squeeze the frame against the limb like that and now I have pressure on the bow press. If I slide this up, and so the, the, the pressure will 
again hold the uh, press in place while I adjust it to center it on the limb as we've always done in the past and there we are and now I can press the bow and reassemble it. So I thank you very much for your time and hey may every arrow be an X.